Heat pumps have shaken up the residential heating and cooling game to a great deal. And now we even have hybrid heat pump water heaters. But what is a heat pump exactly? Stay tuned as we do a deep dive into the world of heat pumps. <laughs> Here at Monkey Wrench, we've installed plenty of heat pumps in the Los Angeles and surrounding areas. And with this experience, we can tell you that heat pumps are growing in popularity and present a unique value to homeowners. In this video, you'll learn what a heat pump is, how a heat pump works, some of the common types of heat pumps, and where to best use a heat pump. Hey, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing as we are always adding new content on all things plumbing, heating, and air. So let's dive right in. A heat pump is an alternative to traditional air conditioners and furnaces. Heat pumps differ from both their traditional counterparts by providing both heating and cooling in a single unit. While some heat pumps resemble outdoor air conditioning units, they carry out both heating and cooling functions to save homeowners more space. Along with saving on space, heat pumps can provide more efficiency, with brands like Mitsubishi making some models that outpace the efficiency of furnaces by quite a stretch. Heat pumps work by transferring heat from one place to another using a series of components that are powered by electricity, natural gas, solar, or heated water. Moving heat relies on either air transfer or ground and water heat transfer. The core process is pretty simple to grasp, but breaking it down into individual steps, the refrigerant enters the house and goes into a coil, kind of like a tube, where it starts to get warm. Inside the house, a fan blows air over the coil and the heat from the air goes into the refrigerant making it even warmer. Now the refrigerant is all heated up and turns into a gas. The gas goes to a part called the compressor, which squeezes it and makes it pressurized. Once the gas is pressurized, it goes into another coil outside the house. Outside, there's another fan that blows air over the coil and the heat from the pressurized gas goes into the outside air. As the gas gives away its heat, it changes back into a liquid again. The warm liquid refrigerant goes back inside and goes through a special valve that reduces its pressure, which cools it down again. The cycle then repeats. To heat a home on the other hand, it's really just a matter of reversing the process. Next we'll go over some of the types of heat pumps. There are several different types of heat pumps on the market, but some aren't as practical for residential use as others. The various types of heat pumps include air source heat pumps, geothermal heat pumps, absorption heat pumps. We will cover what makes these heat pumps unique beginning with air source heat pumps. Air source heat pumps use electricity and are the most favored heat pumps types for residential use, thanks to their efficiency and convenience. These heat pumps transfer heat in the air from one place to another. To break things down a bit further, air source heat pumps warm a home by extracting heat energy from the outside air and moving it into indoors. On the cooling side, the cycle is reversed. Air source heat pumps cool by removing heat from indoors and pumping it outside. A notable point to air source heat pumps is that they do not produce heat and instead rely on the heat from the outside to warm a home. This means that temperatures below freezing can pose a challenge to heat pumps since there is less heat to pull in. Some units, however, will compensate by adding a heating element to help supplement the heat. Next up, geothermal heat pumps. Widely acknowledged as the most efficient form of a heat pump, geothermal options use ground source heat for their process. Geothermal heat pumps use a closed loop of pipes buried beneath the ground to transfer heat in and out of the home. Because the ground temperature stays somewhat consistent, the cost to operate a geothermal heat pump is lower than the other options. However, geothermal heat pumps cost more to install since they require some excavation. This is really a balancing act between upfront investment and long-term savings. Next up, absorption heat pump. The name of this heat pump type is a bit misleading. An absorption heat pump is essentially a heat pump that uses another power source, other than electricity to carry out its heating and cooling roles. Absorption heat pumps use thermal energy generated by solar, natural gas, or heated water. The most common source is natural gas. Where to use a heat pump? Okay, so now you know how a heat pump works, but can you actually benefit from one? Well, the answer will greatly depend on what region you live in. If you live in a more mild climate like Southern California, then the answer is an absolute yes. But if you're posted up somewhere where temperatures drop below freezing in the winter, the answer is a little more complicated. 
Heat pumps rely on heat energy in the outside air to warm your home. As temperatures drop below freezing, heat pumps will have to work harder to fulfill their promise. Take the time to consider where you live before investing in a heat pump to ensure you can get the most out of a heat pump system. Now that we've covered what a heat pump is and how they work, you can decide whether continuing to explore heat pumps is in your best interest or if you should look elsewhere for your heating and cooling needs. If you found any of the information in this video helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all our new videos.